cunning hast thou filched my daughter's heart, turned her obedience, which is due to me, to stubborn harshness. And, my gracious duke, be it so she will not hear before your grace consent to marry with Demetrius, I beg the ancient privilege of Athens. As she is mine, I may dispose of her, which shall be either unto this gentleman or to her death. According to our law, immediately provided in that case. Fetch me that flower, the herb I showed you once. The juice of it on sleeping eyelids lay will make our man or woman mad. We don't on the next live creature that it sees. Bring me this herb and be thou here again, ere the bite and can swim a leaf. I'll put a girdle round about the earth in 40 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Lysander, on the ground, dead or asleep. I see no blood, no wound. Lysander, if you live, good sir, awake. And run through fire, I will, for thy sweet sake. <laughs> Transparent Helena, nature shows art that through thy bosom makes me see thy heart. <laughs> Where is Demetrius? Oh, how fit a word as I find thee to perish on my soul! Do you say so, Lysander? Say not so. What, though you love your Hermia? Lord, what though? Yet Hermia still loves you, then be content. Content with Hermia? No. I do repent the tedious minutes with her I have spent. Not Hermia. But Helena I do love. For who would not change a raven for a dove? Out, sword and wound!